before starting KEDEX, I was working with BlackRock, uh, which is one of the largest asset management firms in the world, uh, which is controlling uh, approximately around $10 trillion asset under management. Now, we are here on behalf of uh, KEDEX. At KEDEX, we are building for India to implement NEP 2020 at each and every school and each and every of those 15 lakh schools which are there in the country, both which are in the privately organized sector as well as the government organized sector as such. Now, before we start uh, going into what we are doing here, uh, I'll, I'll, I want everyone here to look to the, to the left and look to the rear right and see that we are on the verge of becoming the fifth largest economy in the world. And you look to your right, look to your left, and you'll find that you are the individuals who have led us to be here. All of you guys who are present in this, uh, in this society or in this hall, you are the reason why we are here, why we are here with a sixth number, and why we are, uh, you know, why we are very close to the United Kingdom. Um, approximately around 0.02 trillion away from there. We will be the fifth largest economy in the world in the next one year or so. Had it not been for the pandemic, we would already have been there. But if you look at the journey as such, uh, if you focus on the graph, uh, we have it's done really well after 2000s. Uh, it was because of the national policy for education 1986, a policy that we are currently following till today. It's a 36 year old policy, the national policy for education. The policy was uh, identified and created to ensure that there is an availability of education around in the country. The focus, primary focus was that. And you would see that the impact was there. The impact was there and we started having uh, enhanced growth as such. But are we alone in this country and whether the graph that you're looking at which is moving at a very rapid stage right now, where will it take us? That's an expression. If you look at the right hand side of the graph, uh, we are right now at the fifth position, the pink graph that you see. Uh, very soon to close the gap uh, with the UK. Uh, at this speed, uh, at speed which we are going at, uh, it will take us around uh, four years uh, or so to be uh, above Germany. And maybe by 2030, which is in the next eight years, we will be the third largest economy. And we'll reach around $5 trillion by then. Uh, but what, what beyond that? Is that 2030 or becoming the third largest economy is that where we want to be and is that where we would eventually end up at? We are, at, we are going at around 6 to 8% uh, at such. Why is it the case that we would become a third largest economy and can we think about something which is beyond that? The numbers that you see which are there at the top, uh, you have China as well as USA. They are in the range of 20, 23 trillion dollar and uh, you have something in the range of 18 trillion dollar. The next phase is not the comparison with the 4 trillion dollar or 5 trillion dollar economy, it's much more. India needs to grow at a much faster pace. And all of you guys who are there in this hall today, you will be the reason and you will be the change makers to see that India will become and should become the largest economy in the world by 2050. And the question is how? And uh, earlier we heard uh, Sri Gopal, and we heard uh, from uh, Sri Maram as well that NEP is the gateway. If we look at NEP, there are a lot of parts of NEP. Uh, there's a part uh, which focuses on schools. There's a part which focuses on colleges. Colleges is a short-term uh, benefit. Uh, Sri Gopal, uh, uh, with your permission, uh, if I may speak on the NEP, you had been the creator, co-creator of NEP. So the second part, which is a short-term benefit of uh, the NEP, uh, that is for colleges, that is already uh, implemented as such, and is being accepted 
all around India. There's a part which is primarily focused on schools. And the schools, there are a lot of parts which are there which is focusing on a different structure, trying to bridge the gap between um, availability of education. The guys who are here, you are the guys who will define how India grows and fosters at a much faster space. And it's not just because of uh, availability of education. We have produced a lot of uh, technology guys. Um, we have techies, we have uh, MBA graduates, we have uh, a lot of CAs. What we don't have is that those guys applying creativity, applying problem solving, applying things which are there as part of a holistic development of an individual, which enables them to think and beyond a structured approach as such. The NEP 2020, section four, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about a couple of sections which are applicable to each and every school as such, which is for the benefit of the country and for the benefit of every school. The schools which will be implementing them, there are a lot of schools as such who have been associated with us. They are usually preferred as a choice by the students as well, who are, or students who are applying for it. There is section 4.35, which talks about a holistic development report card for every child. Right now we have a report card which considers around five subjects, maths, English, science, social studies, Hindi, and maybe some other language as well. Um, there are different languages used across India. But that report card also needs to be augmented with a 360 degree holistic development report card. The focus is about identifying what the child is really good at. What is your innate potential? Are you destined to become someone who is going into, let's say, finance, or someone who is going into arts, someone who is going into theatrics, or someone who is going into, let's say, pottery? If you are really good at something, you will make very good for your own self and by definition and by inference for the country. We need to focus on getting a 360 degree multidimensional report card for every child. That's section 4.35. It further talks about there should not be any differentiation or a hard line between extracurriculars and curriculars or academics in the pursuit to identify what the child is good at. We have a plethora of uh, techies, we have a plethora of CAs, we have a plethora of management graduates who when graduate, they do something else. Uh, not everyone does uh, tech, tech uh, related work. There's section 4.4 and 4.23, where holistic development is again highlighted. If you look at uh, 4.11 to 4.22, it's multilingual. The focus is also on sign language. There is a creation of a new sign language as well, which is um, focused in the NEB 2020. There is a 4.6 and 4.44, which is adopting of experiential learning as such, which is that you do it on your own. And once you do it, it's not a one-way street. You have to prove that you have done it, you have learned it, you have displayed it, so that I know that you know. Just looking at something, you can do it on YouTube. You can watch a YouTube channel for probably the next decade. You, you may not know whether you learned something or not. So, we, knowing that the child has learned, that's the part of experiential learning, and that should be facilitated. And that's why you have a focus on 4.35, which is measuring the outcome, that the person, the child, learned something or not. And finally, I'll come to 4.46. That is what we are. Uh, we are KEDEX, and we are the 4.46 of uh, NEP, which talks about an online app to solve for NEP 2020, which is covering all of these sections. And we have today, and we are proud to be associated with 3,000 schools in the country. We are proud to be associated and facilitating uh, the flagship events of uh, Niti Aayog, Atal Innovation Mission. Uh, ATL Tinkerpreneur, as well as ATL Marathon, is hosted on KEDEX app. A lot of, your, a lot of uh, the schools which are from Bangalore your students would be participating to learn entrepreneurship on KEDEX platform. In addition to providing the solution for NEP 2020, we are trying to build a nation which will see us to become the number one nation by 2050 in terms of GDP. Now, the questions that will be there in your mind is, if you talk about five subjects, it's already a difficult task as such for a school to manage five subjects. But if it goes to holistic development, 360 degree, all-round development, is it something 
that will add to a lot of workload for the school management, as well as all the administrators who are there. How many service providers exist in the country today which can solve for NEB 2020 on the holistic development, section 4.35, providing a 360-degree holistic development report card? There is just one. We are that one company in the country. How much will it cost to implement? It is very reasonable. We provide it at around 50 to 100 rupees per month per child basis as well when it comes to private institutions. So it's not something that is high. Answering the first part as well, how much work will be, be there? We take all of it. We take all the, the entire effort in making sure that it is uh, done. The holistic development report card, whatever goes behind it, that is something that is all uh, on us. You have to be the enabler and we can take care of the holistic development ensuring that the child is capable and is exposed to all of the things, is able to identify what the child is really good at and implement NEP 2020. We are KIDEX, your high quality, affordable NEP 2020 implementation partner, proud to be associated with 3,000 schools till date, proud to be associated with uh, Niti Aayog. We are if you had looked at uh, the newspaper two days ago, you would have seen KIDEX at the front page of every leading English newspaper in the country. We had been awarded by Google and Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. We had been awarded as uh, the tech startup of the year, top 50 tech startup of the year by your story. We had been awarded by NASCOM. It's something which has been built in India by Indians and for the Indian people to make India the number one economy in the world. If you look at the holistic development report card, if we go further into details, we have five pillars, cognitive skills, which is about the development of mind. We have language and communication, which is efficiency and efficacy of communication. We have socio-emotional skills, which is your ability to understand your own emotions, ability to understand other people's emotion and also express in a way that it is consumed in the similar manner that it was intended for in the first place. We have creativity and imagination, which is for the finer side of things in the life. And we have physical skills, which is growth of the body. And we do it with respect to, and we create this report card. This report card is created for each and every individual child based on their performance. The way it works is it's online, it's an app, and where it, everything happens. You have, it can be organized as per the convenience of the school at any time of the year. You have flexibility to define duration, number of activities, which all activities or which all themes people want to go for. 100% students can participate, participate digitally from home, so there is no overhead as such for the school. The assessment is done by KIDEX by our subject matter experts when it comes to creativity. A person who is a, a subject matter expert looks at that. Digital certificates are there for students to promote them, to encourage them to participate and continue to participate. There is leaderboards, there are trophies, which are there which serve as uh, encouragements for students to continue to learn. And we have a web portal for every school to see and download the report card which can be distributed to the parents and can be used as part of the parent-teacher meeting as well, where you can focus more on having a quality conversation with the parents that how their children are performing, what are the potential for every child. The child is good at, let's say, physical skills. The child is good at social-emotional skills, or the child is good at language and communication. You can communicate, and you can focus on those aspects and let the heavy lifting, which is about identifying and measuring the outcomes for a child, be with KIDEX. We have an app as well as website, so it's not a mandatory thing to install app and go about it. Uh, you have skill-based assignments, which are age-appropriate assignments. We have a holistic development 96-point scientific framework, which has been created, and which has been created to measure and identify what is the age-appropriate development milestone for a child 
Um, and uh, a milestone for a seven-year-old is different than a milestone for a 10-year-old. And we are able to measure that as such. The child can easily fill the self-assessment and peer-to-peer -peer assessment is also part, uh, partly covered in 4.35 section, NEP 2020. This is where every child needs to be assessed by your peer as well as a subject matter expert. This is facilitated through KIDEX as well. We have all sort of activities. Uh, we conduct live uh, extracurricular activities. We can do in person as well if there is a scope for it, for any, if a, any school is uh, interested. When we do these activities, it is done via a PPF framework. There is a path to knowledge. You can't just start, if you want to learn, let's say, basketball, you can't just go and shoot basketball per se. You have to first learn the triple threat stance, which is how to hold the ball properly. Then you take the next step. Similar thing is there in uh, academics, where curriculum has been defined by over, let's say, 100 years of work by academicians in the field. We have every, every activity that happens on uh, KIDEX that is through a curriculum, a path. There is a pace to it that is proper for the child to follow so that the child doesn't fall across if moving fast or moving slow, he doesn't get bored out and move. And we have a feedback system. So we close the feedback, close the loop. We help identify and tell whether the child learned it or not. So you have the PPF completing the learning loop for the students. And this I just covered. Uh, we provide school co-banded digital certificates as well for the schools which are part of our uh, cohort. Uh, we have a group of uh, IIT, IIM, MIT, Niti Aayog alumni um, working with us. We are in the media. We had been well recognized uh, by government bodies, by Google, by NASCOM, by Your Story. We have a lot of testimonials on the YouTube. If you want to learn about more about us, you just type KIDEX on YouTube and you'll find all of uh, the information on how it works. We would love to interact more with you. Uh, if you have any questions, our stall is just nearby, um, nearby the lunch area. And I would be happy to have uh, more words uh, with uh, the progressive schools like yourselves um, to implement NEP 2020, especially the holistic development uh, section of the NEP 2020. Thank you all. Thanks again for being the part in keeping, making India to number five. And we hope that you guys will con continue and make India number one economy in the world. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Please uh, be here. I would now request uh, Shri M. Madhin Gopal, sir, to please come on the dais. We would like to facilitate.